Can you say your name and your title? Uh, my name is Ashraf Ismail, and I'm the game director for Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Can you talk a little bit about the story, the character, and the setting? Yeah, so uh, with uh, Assassin's Creed 4, uh, we are telling the story of Edward Kenway. He is the father of Hytham and the grandfather of Connor. We're telling the, the Kenway family saga. Uh, so Edward is uh, a British guy coming from poor stock. So he's, uh, he had a poor uh, uh, uprising. Uh, so uprising. So, uh, and he's a character who's very charismatic and very charming, but at the same time, because of the poor, um, poor life he had, he's very uh, selfish and very reckless. And uh, this, he becomes a sailor and this allows him to, to become a pirate. The lure of glory and gold is something that he was attracted to. So, so Edward is a pirate. So at the beginning of the game, uh, we, we meet him as a pirate and he eventually meets with the assassins and they train him. Uh, and this selfishness that he has in him, uh, it conflicts with the Assassin's Creed. And this is the story we're telling about this, this character who has this internal conflict and uh, the resolution of this conflict as it goes through the story. Uh, now this happens in the 18th century Caribbean. Because this time period was uh, a very uh, ripe time period for really amazing characters, really uh, incredible events that actually happened. You know, with this, with this game we're telling the story, the, the, the reality of the pirate fantasy. We're, we're not going for the cartoony, cliche version. We want to tell the very gritty, realistic version because it was really incredible. It was over the top. There were these incredible characters like Blackbeard, who you know, is probably arguably the most famous pirate, but he was a guy that, that played an incredible role and he plays an incredible role in our game. Uh, and of course, there's the Templar and Assassin's feud that is in the heart of all this, and it continues forward. And Assassin's Creed 4 really pushes the, 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 next, uh, the next iteration of this. What inspired the team to base this Assassin's Creed game around pirates? Uh, you know, AC is always about uh, telling uh, a time period, a historic time period that had a major impact on the world. Uh, something that, uh, for better or worse, really impacted uh, uh, the evolution of humanity. And uh, with, with AC4, we felt that the pirate era, the, the 18th century, uh, there was something attempted here which was really incredible. It was really the first democratic uh, attempt at a democratic uh, governance. Uh, except these were lawless men who were pirates and they partied and they drank their money away. So this, this event uh, failed in a real spectacular way. And this setup uh, is... is gives us the opportunity to put the player in the heart of something really wonderful. Uh, the, the pirate characters you meet, uh, the events that, that you play in the game, uh, these, a lot of these are historic things that, that we feel are super exciting, they're, they're really incredible to, to be a part of, and we want to make sure that players always feel like they're seeing the, the credible, uh, I don't want to say realistic, but really the credible version of this history. Uh, and this is we, you know, we felt that this uh, opportunity existed in the gaming industry because entertainment-wise, we really see the more cartoony version of pirates. But uh, as a team, we felt that the realistic version of pirates was actually really awesome and something we wanted players to feel. What historical figures do players get to interact with? Uh, so we have a big cast. Uh, some of the characters that you get to meet, real historic figures, uh, Benjamin Hornigold, who was the gentleman pirate. Uh, we have uh, Anne Bonny, who was a female pirate. We have uh, Charles Vane, uh, a psychotic. Uh, even Calco Jack, who is uh, a drunkard, and he was kind of a comedic relief, but also on the darker side. Uh, and of course, Blackbeard. Blackbeard is one of the coolest characters uh, from that era. Uh, you know, we're telling the story of, of Edward Thatch, the, the, the man behind the persona of Blackbeard. You know, he was a guy who didn't actually want to murder people. He rather that he created this uh, this theme around who he is. He branded himself effectively so that people feared him. Uh, he even put firecrackers in his hat and have them burn to create smoke around his head so that people really felt that he was this menace on the open sea. Uh, and this type of person, you know, it's really awesome to tell that story. So we see both the Blackbeard persona, which is big and epic and, and really uh, insane, but we also see the man behind it. Uh, so these are some of the characters that we get to see in this game.